Hello everyone, welcome back to Career Sing. In this video, we are going to discuss all the important questions and the repeated question which is asked in the April month for the cognizant interview for all Gen C roles. In this video, we will be seeing all interview questions, selected queries, SQL queries, and theoretical questions which is asked. This video is only for SQL and DBMS part. Next, we are going to giving you all the technical questions in the next video. So must watch this video till the end because if you watch this video, you can clear every interview in the every cluster one, two or three dependent on you. So must watch and don't miss a thing. So the first question which is asked is what is SQL? This is the very important question. It is repeated many times in the interview. So these are the all questions which is asked recently from 1 April to 10th April. So don't miss a single question. You will be asked. Interview will be asking every question from this PDF only, not out of this. So must watch this video till the end. Now what is an SQL query? So SQL stands for a structured query language is a standard language for managing and manipulating data in relational database management system. It allows users to query, insert, update and delete data as well as define and control database structures. This is the first question. Now, DBMS related question. What is normalization? Normalization is the process of organizing data in a database to reduce redundancy and improve data integrity. It involves dividing larger tables into smaller linked tables according to specific rules. What are different types of joins in SQL? Most important question it is asked in the most of the interviews. So common join types include inner join, left join, right join, Full join, outer join, and that's it. Now, what is the difference between delete and truncate? This is the very, very, very important question. It is asked mostly to the everyone. So, delete removes specific rows based on a condition and logs each deletion along for rollback. Truncate removes all rows from a table quickly and doesn't log individually deletion of row or law rows. Now, views in SQL. This is also a very important question and real-time usage. What is the real-time usage of views? So, a view is a virtual table based on the result of an SQL statement. In real-time, views can simplify complex queries, provide data security by limiting access to certain columns, rows, offer consistent abstract way to access data. Also, I am going to give this PDF in my Telegram channel. So join our Telegram channel where you can find this PDF. So it can help you to crack the cognizant interview. So now next move to the next question. What is normalization? We have already seen this, but in SQL. So it is the process of structuring a relational data by race to minimize data redundancy and improve data integrity by dividing tables and defining relationship between them. What are triggers? Triggers are stored database procedures that automatically execute when specific events occur in the database. Now, what are asset properties in database? It is also a very, very, very important question. So, asset stands for atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. And all the functions are also written here. Now, now, now my next what is indexing in SQL? So indexing is a database optimization technique that creates pointers to data and table along for faster retrieval of rows based on a specific columns, similar to the index of a book. It speeds up search operations. Now, what is foreign key in SQL? So they will be asking the question, what is, tell me the difference between keys. What are the all types of keys? So a foreign key is a column in a on one table that refers to the primary key in another table or foreign key is the reference key of the another table. Now, what is a stored procedure? This is asked in the interview. So you must did not miss any question. A stored procedure is a set of SQL statement with assigned name stored in database. Now, what are SQL commands? This is also most important question because this question is asked many from for many students. These are instructions used to interact with database. They are broadly categorized into DDL, DML, DQL, DCL, and TCL. Now, you can go deep into this because I have written it in the short. You have to go in the deep. 
now ddl like uh, data definition language commands like create alter and drop are used to define it in dml data manipulation language commands like insert update and delete are used to manipulate the data stored within the database tables now dql data query language primarily consists of a select command used to re retrieve data from one or more tables in the database now dcl means data control language commands like grant and revoke are used to control access permission for the database object now the last tcl means transaction control language commands like commit rollback are used to use it now explain the use of having clause in sql the having clause is used in sql to filter the result of aggregate data now what are sql constraints so constraint are rules enforced on data column to limit the type of data that can be inserted into a table like examples like primary key foreign key unique total and check how does group by work in sql this is also a very very important question the group by clause is sql groups rows that have the same values in some or more specified column into summary like find the number of customer in each now what is use of database in real time scenario so database are crucially for real time application to store manage and quickly retrieve large volume of dynamic data supporting functionalities like e commerce transaction social media feeds and sensor data processing now what are aggregate function in sql it is also very important question aggregate functions perform, perform calculation on a set of rows and return a single summary value common examples include count sum average minimum and maximum when you find those you need to solve any queries like maximum and minimum we use the aggregate functions now what is count in sql a count function in sql is an aggregate function that returns the number of rows in a specified table or the number of null values in a specified column now indexing sub query these are the remaining questions now coming to the next part are sql queries there are some very very important sql queries i have mentioned it so don't miss this because you need to prepare these now as you can see the sql query to retrieve the second highest salary from a table i have put this question in the first because it is the most asked interview question based on sql so you need to prepare this question like select maximum salary from employees where salary is less than select maximum salary from employees assuming a table named employee with a salary and column so they can ask you to perform this single query in different different ways it is asked uh, to the one uh, candidate so you need to prepare two solutions for this question now sql queries to add delete and modify data you have to write a query they will ask you to do anything now find the maximum salary from a table so select maximum salary from employees also query to display data from the employee table they will be giving you a short query so you have to do it on your own they will be not providing you schema or any database so you have to use your own words in that interview now sql query using replace function sql queries on group by and having function write a self join query in sql what are sql query to fetch duplicate characters from a string it is also a very important question write a query for aggregate functions so all the theoretical that you have learned before you have to implement in this interview now delete records from a table sql code for views for two tables error identification and sql query union and union all it is also a very important question that you need to prepare now case in sql distinct function where and having clause string function in sql upper case to lower case this is also a most important question that you need to prepare before going to the interview use lower function convert a string to lower case example select lower column name from table name that after that you can convert it now limit and offset so limit is used to restrict the number of rows returned by a query offset specify the number of rows to skip before starting to return rows they are often used in pagination now sql joins inner joins what difference between every join union difference between union and joins sql query related to dml and highest salary of the employee i have marked it red because this question is asked many times so you need to prepare for all this question highest salary third highest salary second highest salary it is the question that has been asked now i have put this question also very uh, in red because it is very 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 important 
you need to tell the difference between delete, drop, and truncate commands because delete removes rows based on a condition and is logged. Truncate removes all rows quickly without logging individual deletion and drop removes the entire table or we can say the schema. So you need to prepare this question. Very important. This is a very, very important question. It is asked more than 10 to 20 candidates, the response we have. So you need to prepare it. Now, these are the two important questions we say based on the security, like what is SQL injection? So SQL injection is a code injection technique used to attack data-driven application in which malicious SQL statements are inserted into an entire field of execution. So hackers use this SQL injection to make some disturbance in the database. How do you prevent SQL injection in Python-based application? So here is you have to give a solution for it. So use parameterized queries or pre prepared statement with placeholder for user input. This ensures that user provided data is treated as data, not as executable SQL code. Avoid concatenating user input directly into SQL query. So this is the question which is asked in the recent days. So you need to prepare all this question because if you can prepare all this question, you can clear the SQL and database part in the interview. For the technical questions, I will be giving all the questions in the upcoming video where you can give the technical interview very easily. You can crack it without any problem. So thanks for watching this video. If you want this video, this PDF will be in our Telegram channel. So join our Telegram channel. There you can find this PDF. Also, there are many people who are willing to help you for free of cost. They will give you knowledge and guidance. So join our Telegram channel. Uh, we are here to help you and our candidates are also helping each other out to get their first job. So thanks for watching this video.